Well, Jim, another story that I don't know what you have seen and what you haven't, because I know you didn't watch the event and a lot of things are shown on social media. I don't know what you see, but we've been hinting at it for a while, and it appears that FTR and the Briscoes are doing something. And yes, and I watched, I didn't watch Final Battle because once again, I've already lost my tre treasured and cherished tree this weekend. I didn't want to see a once great wrestling promotion have their final show or final in this incarnation, or let's face it, you know, the blooms off that rose. Uh, but when I heard that FTR and the Briscoes got to scuffling, I naturally searched that piece of video out and at the end of the Briscoe's match at final battle, the lights went out. Of course, Paulie, fuck. If you'd have just paid your light bill back in ECW, we wouldn't have to go through this. But the lights went out. When the lights came back on again, there was FTR standing there on the apron of the ring, stripping their laundry off. And there's the Briscoe's in the ring. And they had a fucking fight. They went to Fist City. They had a Donnybrook, a stem winder. They went to town to pull apart everybody, referees, security guys, minions, everybody out there trying to keep them apart. There was a few break looses, a couple of dives. That was exciting. That was two or three minutes of fucking excitement. The question is, it, it's, it's on a wrestling promotion that if it does come back, it's not going to be till April. Instead of, and, and on their pay-per-view that I would assume is probably not the biggest money piece business they've ever done, instead of being on national television on a Wednesday night when we get to stay up late. So, is this the guys going into, I'm, I know obviously everybody's smart enough to know that Tony Khan would have to okay FTR being there in the place. But we also know that Tony lets guys a lot of times do what they want or go where they want to go or whatever. And it was, you know, something that would mean something to the boys involved. So let them do it. So is, was this a sanctioned AEW angle that we're going to see some furtherance of, some result of on their program? Or was this just to give the the people watching the last ring of honor show a little extra taint tickle by getting them to letting them see something that exciting. Where does it go? They've shot a great angle in a wrestling promotion that now currently does not exist. And if, 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 with the way that they brought everybody else into AEW, you can't mean to tell me that the lights couldn't go out over on TNT. And the Briscoes show up, but we don't know whether that's going to happen. I'm interested. I want to see what's going to happen next. I don't have a lot of confidence in anybody except the two teams in this that, you know, that they'll put it together or get it right. I'm sure that the Hardly Boys, as we mentioned, don't want another tag team in their own company that is stratospheres better than they are in every way because it's continuing to show them up more and more. The As we've talked about, the comedy matches, the goof-off indie shit is not getting over like it did before because now the AEW fans are seeing real talent. And so here now, not only FTR, they managed to bury and minimize and fucking sideline and make look like goofballs at the Hardly Boys' expense. That was obviously pre-planned. And then they never get in the same place again. So there's no way for FTR to get even. If the Briscoes come in and they can outwork the fucking Hardly Boys every step of the way, and they can out talk them every step of the way, and they look like actual men that would hurt you instead of children that are playing on their trampoline, that's the bad thing about having wrestlers in management. Do the Hardly Boys want another tag team? that makes them look like teetotal shit. So we'll have to find out. But FTR and the Briscoes could tear the fucking house down with a program of matches, not just a match, and then we don't do rematches, because well, that would be too wrestling, and everybody knows we're Mark's fantasy booking in our basement. If they let those guys get on TV and shoot a nice angle and talk, 
and fucking interact and have some matches and build some finishes for rematches, you could have one of the great tag team programs of modern day. Or you could have the Briscoes in there the second week they were at AEW standing around, waving their arms, turning in circles, waiting for the Lucha Brothers to figure out how to land on them, and they'd look like idiots too. So pardon me if I temper my optimism with a dose of reality. Because I'm still not sure that this can come off. 